Hello everyone! We're about to show you a groundbreaking device, a universal CarPlay interface that can work in any car on any screen. We're going to show you a video how it works factory CarPlay inside a Mercedes, how it works on regular TV and how it works through our interface on a Chevy Corvette 2017 that can be connected to any screen, any car. All you need is this type of RCA. So if you support, if your device supports this RCA, you're able to connect it. So basically, any double DIN head unit without CarPlay, you can connect CarPlay solution. Um, any screen, factory screen, with or without navigation using one of our interfaces, you can connect our CarPlay solution to a factory screen. And it's controlled the same way it's controlled in Mercedes. We made a joystick, we replicated the joystick, same joystick that's found inside Mercedes. And so this joystick, pretty much what it does is give you left to right, enter, back, and Siri. We're gonna demo how all this works, but pretty much you get universal solution that works on any screen in any car. Even if you wanted to have CarPlay at home, now you're able to do it. Again, all you need to have in your system is RCA jack input and you can have CarPlay in any car. Whether it's 1991 or 2017, any car. And if you don't have RCA inputs, we have video interfaces that can connect to any car and give you our CarPlay solution on any screen with or without navigation. So let's watch some videos. You guys a little bit of an idea of how I'm doing this by the way, in case any of you guys have no idea how I'm navigating through this. So as you guys can see, I'm navigating easy as that. So the way I'm doing that is I'm using this round dial right down here. And you basically, I'm just twisting it to whatever, whatever direction I want it to go. And as you can see, I'm gonna twist it to the right and it's gonna go to the right, I'll twist it to the left, and it's gonna go to the left, and right now I'm in, I'll go to, my, I'm go to now playing. So I'm there, I wanna click that, all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna press that button down, and it's automatically gonna come up. And so now if you're still stumped, you have no idea how to get back, no problem, you can either use this dial to the left until it highlights to the back, so I'll show you, we're right here. I'm, I'm using the round dial, I'm going to the left, going to the left, it's right there. I'll click this button. Oh, you're still here. I don't know how to get back. Don't worry. We have this button as well. This is a back button right here. So you're just going to click that until you get all the way back to this screen here. So it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It may take a little bit of time to get used to, but I mean, it's really easy once you get the idea of it. You basically just navigate through here. We're going to show you how CarPlay works on a regular TV. So that universal any TV, any screen. So we just got a TV right there, VR. I had a TV here, so we're gonna connect CarPlay to it. So you're gonna take your phone, you're gonna plug it in, and you see the CarPlay logo is going to appear right there on top. See CarPlay, and now the whole thing is going to change over to CarPlay. Yep, right there. The whole thing is CarPlay now. So, I'm gonna put on our TV. And the CarPlay is going to appear right on the screen. Right there, regular TV. It's nothing special. Okay, so now you got CarPlay on the screen. And to control it, just like you've seen in the video with the Mercedes, you take the joystick and you go through all the options. Let's say we're going to Maps. And I'm just going to quickly demo it for you. Let's say you want to go into Destination. And we're going to go into Siri. Pizza. Okay, one option I see is La Strada Pizza in Aberdeen, which averages four stars and is moderately priced. Let me know if you want more information. And then you can go into basically into any settings. So just like CarPlay in the Mercedes or any other CarPlay in any other car. You can listen to radio. So we're going to go ahead and select music. Let's select 90s. And then we can just listen to radio station. Pause, play, so you can do anything you want right from the window. Back, 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 and it gets out. 
basically you can browse all the application. And now we're gonna show you a demo of CarPlay connected to a GM interface. So basically this is General Motors OEM screen. This particular screen is found in Chevy Corvette 2015, 2017. And the lines that you see, all these lines that you see, they don't appear in real life. This is how the camera records the screen. The picture is actually crystal clear otherwise. So this is the factory screen of the Corvette. And now we're going to show you, you know, same thing. We're going to go ahead and connect it. So basically hook it up. CarPlay appears right there and then the whole screen is going to change over to CarPlay and then when the screen changes to CarPlay we can switch over that's it CarPlay is loaded on the you press and hold the back button on the particular radio and now you got the CarPlay basically on the screen and you can do the same thing as you're done with Siri and control the entire thing with the joystick so same thing take the joystick and right there we're gonna do the controls phone map messages now playing Siri audiobook so same thing so if you're gonna go into maps and you're gonna select uh, destinations so we're gonna go and select destination and same thing pizza and it shows you the pizzerias you can exit out and basically everything is the same we disconnected the audio because it was too loud it was playing over me but same thing audio is going to come through car speakers and you can select any app that you want so just like before radio we already had that selected and all the apps are appear on the screen and then over here on the left you get the most recent apps then if you want to choose to go over to the home because don't forget carplay interfaces both for touchscreen and joysticks so you don't really need to press the home button you can use back button that's faster this back button right here if you want to call Siri at any time just press and hold this button and Siri gets called press back to go back and this is like CarPlay all the functions basically the CarPlay is built into the phone remember it's not something that somebody recreates so you're controlling the phone with the joystick so basically all the controls that you're doing control something that's already in the phone so if you go into anything, so let's say we're going to go back into radio. So whatever apps exist that you can install, this is CarPlay control. We don't create these menus. Those menus are already in the phone. We just control the menus of the Apple CarPlay. So basically you got CarPlay and we're controlling pretty much. We're pretty much controlling CarPlay. So whatever you get, you know, and it's in CarPlay nothing else and if you go into tune and radio let me show you this so I'm gonna go into tune and radio now when I'm in tune on radio, tune on radio is on the screen. If I press the home right there, if I press the home button right on the, on the phone, it's going to go exit out both ways. So you are controlling just CarPlay that's built in. So the apps, you only use whatever is provided to you by CarPlay. If you want to fully control or have full mirroring, we have a mirroring interface that gives you full phone mirroring without two-way controls. And then you can go back and with the back button you can switch between CarPlay and that region. This can be done in any car. There is no limit, absolutely any car. So now that you've seen our videos, again, you can connect to any car and all you need to have is RCA input. Any car, 
any screen. If your car does not have RCA input, our video interfaces will allow you to connect our CarPlay solution to any screen with or without navigation. So basically any car that you have, all you need is our video interface and our CarPlay solution and CarPlay so is not possible on any car from A to Z, from Acura to Volvo. Thank you for watching. Link is in the description. If you have any questions, go to our website, check out the link in the descriptions. Thank you.